Josiah's age, we want to look and see if we can change and manipulate um, their diet some with vitamin D supplementation. How does that change their bone density? So we want to know by if we help them get more vitamin D in their diet, can we make their bones stronger? And so this would be a test to help us to know how to do that. Here. Well, this is Priscilla, and she's seven. And this is Josiah, he's five. Um, they're getting to do the study of calcium and vitamin D. We want to look and see how kids' bones um, are growing at this age and uh, how we can help them have stronger bones. And so this machine is really helpful because it can do a full body scan and then it can also zero in on certain parts of the body. So we actually get a full body scan and then we also do a, um, a spinal scan and um, for other studies they may do hip scans or femur scans or things like that. So we can zero in on certain parts of the body but it uh, gives us uh, body fat percentage, lean muscle tissue percentage, and um, and like I said, the bone density as well. So, that's so we're testing uh, vitamin D, and we want to know if by giving uh, extra vitamin D, does that help increase calcium absorption? So we'll be able to look at the kids who are randomized to the vitamin D versus the kids who got the placebo to see if the kids who got the vitamin D, did their calcium absorption really improve? So um, that's what we're hoping to see, and we want to know um, so that maybe recommendations need to be changed, and maybe kids need more vitamin D. Maybe kids are getting the perfect amount of vitamin D, but we uh, are doing this study to help find that out. So they'll be taking their vitamins for eight weeks, and then at the end of that eight week period, then they come back and they have another overnight visit here at uh, Texas Children's Hospital again, and we'll do everything like we did today.